Greetings, YouTube. Yes, I am wearing a gray cashmere cardigan. Um, today I'm going to talk about a book known as the Namicon, the Book of Names and Words for Your Imaginary Settings by one Donald Jordan. This is what it looks like. A little glare off there. Um, this is a listing of 35,000 words in 23 basic language groups. They're all fantasy based. Um, that you could use for your fiction or for your campaign. Now, I just bought this. I mean, I literally got it in the mail. I got it home. I opened it up about 20 minutes ago, and I've been flipping through it. Because, you know, it's just lists of names, but lists of names in 23 distinct language groups. So you could have, if you're going to have all of your player characters from the same country, you can say, okay, I want you to, here is the list, and I want you to be able to pick them, everyone from the, um, the Sarsil group. And everybody looks at the Sarsal group, and they pick their name from the Sarsal group, so that there will be some sense of connection between all of the, the essentially ethnic names for your campaign. Um, and, of course, if you were to run a campaign and have it uh, have a certain level of depth to it, when someone shows up from the um, Thalia group, they may, know, they, they may notice the difference, much the way you're not going to see a whole lot of people from Bolivia named Thor, you, you know, they would stand out. If, they're, if your campaign is based in Bolivia and somebody named Thor shows up, they're going to stick out. Um, so this is a nice idea. I, again, I haven't used it yet. Um, I, I wanted to have it as a reference because, you know, a, a generic gaming reference like this is always useful for any kind of game you're going to run, regardless of whether it's fantasy or science fiction. Um, uh, and it is available as a PDF. I got this off of Lulu. I decided I want to get the, the I, I prefer, um, sometimes I prefer to get uh, hard copies. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video describing what the product is, and it may fit the needs of some of my fellow gamers out there. So I would, uh, thought I'd throw that out and see if anybody has any particular interest in this, or if they want to just add in sources that they like to use for naming people and places in their campaigns. I'm sure that everyone here on the role-playing community on YouTube would be interested to hear it. 